So the housing and fuel filter are right here in the front and the easiest way to, to deal with that, we're going to remove the tire and then uh, it'll give me a little bit more ability to get into that. Okay, so we've got the tire off which allows us a little bit easier access inside this wheel well. And as you can see, we're looking right at the, the bottom of the fuel filter housing. So what we want to do now is I'm going to undo the valve here and then we have to disconnect the water uh, separator sensor right. So I'm going to grab a, a coffee mug, a, an old Folgers can to drain that fuel into and disconnect that sending unit. I went ahead and untwisted this and uh, and pulled it down which allowed me to drain oh I don't know a couple of cups maybe a cup worth of diesel fuel into this Folgers can so hopefully it won't be such a mess and then like I said we're gonna go ahead now and undo that electrical connector so everybody I just disconnected the electrical connector I can't really put my arm in there I tried it just blocks everything but basically you you know you press in on the little tabs and pull that straight down it comes out of the housing and the next thing is right in the bottom although you can't really see it from this angle is a uh, 3 8 uh, square indentation you can just take a 3 8 drive uh, ratchet with an extension fit it up in there and then that whole housing will spin will spin right out and that's not focusing very good sorry about that there we go so that whole housing will spin back out and then we can replace it all right everybody i misspoke myself i have to apologize right now the uh <clears throat> it's a th half inch drive uh intrusion into that uh, housing so what i've done there is i'm using a three eighths to half inch drive uh adapter and uh, once you get that up in there of course then you just work on spinning that out and of course that's what it looks like when it's been when the housing's been removed um so i find once you loosen it up the best way to do it's just to, to get up top and pull it out through the top of the hood instead of trying to weed it out through here. Still makes a little bit of a mess though. So as you can see we've got the, the housing I just took out of the truck. This is our brand new housing. So I've gone ahead and I've, uh, I've put the seal back in. It's always good to lubricate that seal up um, before you reinstall it. And get a little oil will uh, we'll lubricate those seals up you just want to get a dab of that on there so you're not putting a dry seal back in against it you know rubber rubber dry, dry rubber against an item is never a good thing lube is your friend in all things so uh, lube that up a little bit put a little bit of oil on there and we will uh, we'll install our new drain tube off of this one onto this one now it's just a matter of uh, throwing that back to into the into the engine that right back down from the top all right so as you can see we've kind of got it back up in the housing and then got to reach through here and and spin her in until we get a little bit tight and then we'll finish it off with the with the ratchet and there you go a new filter and housing installed in my uh, Dodge pickup truck so a little bit of uh, pain but not not too bad overall is a little bit messy um, but put a catch pan down below to catch a little bit of the overflow. We'll wipe up the excess. And we'll throw the tire back on and we'll be good to go for another 15,000 miles. So hopefully uh, you got a little something out of that video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, this is just a portion of what Angie and I are doing with our channel. Uh, with the, the full-time RVing 
full-time journeying um, anyways um, appreciate everybody uh, watching and we'll see you down the road